Hold on to your seats as we dive into an alarming revelation. The Philippines, a country known for its vibrant culture and love for rice, is grappling with a shocking rise in rice prices. According to a recent report by Eben Foundation, rice inflation in the nation hit an astounding 3.4% just last month. This spike in rice prices is not just a statistic. It has contributed to a worrying leap in overall headline inflation, putting enormous pressure on the country's poorest households. The price of rice, a staple food for every Filipino, has a significant impact on their daily lives. Now, you may ask, what's causing this surge in prices? A women farmers group and several research institutes point fingers at the Marcos administration. The rice tariffication law, enacted in 2019, has been identified as a key factor in this continuous rise in rice prices. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Who is at the helm of the administration? None other than Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., son of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos Sr. Marcos Jr., who won a polarizing election and was sworn in as president, is seen by many as the man behind the country's current economic woes. Despite promising to revive the economy and address food inflation, Marcos Jr.'s tenure has been marked by high national debt and global economic uncertainties. His administration has tried to ease market concerns with cabinet appointments, but key positions remain unfilled. In response to the rising prices, the presidential office imposed a price ceiling on rice. Marcos Jr. signed an executive order to address the economic strain on Filipinos and attributed the price increases to illegal activities like hoarding and collusion, as well as external factors such as global events. However, the government's measures to combat hoarding and illegal importation and to address market manipulation by cartels have been met with skepticism. Critics argue that these actions are merely band-aid solutions to a problem that runs much deeper. Inflation in the Philippines has reached a staggering 8.6%, significantly higher than neighboring countries in Southeast Asia. Lower-income families are particularly affected, spending a large portion of their income on food. To add insult to injury, the government's policies, such as excise taxes on petroleum products, have only exacerbated the situation. Some individuals have resorted to creative ways to cope with the rising cost of living, such as changing their livelihoods or engaging in side hustles. In conclusion, the rising rice prices in the Philippines are more than just an economic issue. They're a matter of survival for many Filipinos. The current administration, under Marcos Jr., has been criticized for its handling of the situation. It's a ticking time bomb that needs immediate and effective solutions. As we wrap up, remember this. Behind every bowl of rice is a story of struggle, resilience, and hope. The Filipino people continue to adapt and find ways to make ends meet in the face of soaring prices and economic uncertainty. The question remains, how will the Marcos administration address this crisis? Only time will tell.